On this day of Dushara, when Lord Rama, the symbol of divinity, had a victory over Ravana, the symbol of evil, the day when we say the goodness prevailed over the evil. On this day, I wanted my students to drive home a simple, a beautiful message. And the message is that when we prepare for any and every exam, not just IAS, we all grapple with 10 challenges, 10 limitations which are inherent in the personality of anyone and everyone, irrespective of the fact what we are doing, where we are standing, where we want to reach, what we want to do in life, what we have already achieved, what more we want to achieve. All these things are dependent on these 10 evils inherent in our personality and the success will naturally come to those who know the art that how to fight, defeat and kill these 10 evils and groom ourselves for success. Now let's understand these 10 evils inherent in our personalities. So the first is obviously procrastination. When we keep delaying the things, believing that there is no hurry, but trust me friends, the most important thing in life is time. If time is gone, everything is gone. Everything is gone. Whatever you have, whatever amount of money you earn in life, you can never buy time. So please value time and never procrastinate. Another problem is indolence. That's being lazy, right? We are actually lazy. We, we relax, we enjoy our comfort zones and we are not those go-getters that see I have decided I have to do it come what may I will not stop unless I have done it now this is something that you need to inculcate in your personality slip short now when I say we are slip short we are little careless right we, we do not care for the things we do not plan the things properly we do not make planning we do not make a concerted coordinated effort that see this is my aim this is the time that I have and this is the way I have to achieve or you know complete the task that I have in hand now this is something again very very important then foolhardy that means we, we are actually inattentive to things most of the time even if we are reading a book or we are sitting in a class or we are preparing for some exam most of the time that idea of being attentive being focused it is missing and that is taking a heavy toll very heavy toll on our dreams right do do we find the same thing when we are watching movie no then why we can't be as attentive as we are while watching the movies or you know binge watching netflix or any of the, the things like amazon prime watching uh, either those sacred games or money heist or whatever you want to see the stranger things or whatever how eagerly we wait for them and then you know coming back from the first to the fourth point now when, when a new season comes the season of let's say the dark or the stranger thing or uh, the way we wait for ashram or whatever do we procrastinate on that day okay i will watch it the next day or next week so let let me first finish my task in hand that i am preparing for some exam no most of the time we are sitting on the cliff and we are ready to jump that the new season has come i have to finish it today itself i will go for binge watching i will like not i'm not going to make any compromise where is that determination where is that zeal when it comes to your future your security your exam your success why can't you be so determined the same way as you were earlier for your studies for your success now that is something that genuinely hurts right smuggish when i say we are smuggish it is like we are highly self-satisfied. We are so highly self-satisfied. See, what I have done is okay. I am I'm happy with it. What I have achieved, I am happy with it. Please think big in life. Dream big. Achieve big. I am not saying that there shouldn't be any sort of contentment in life. But that contentment has to come at a right time. You cannot be contented while you are doing your graduation or post-graduation and you are yet to start your career and you have yet to achieve something meaningful fruitful in life so this being smuggish is something that is one of the worst evils that we can have in our personalities overconfidence now that's the biggest word oh i can handle it don't worry 
even if i start late i can do it myself i need no help now that is very 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 dangerous thing try understand there is no one who is self sufficient either god or beast can perhaps be as a human being no one can be we all need help and please be realistic be open to help whatever way it comes to you please be ready to grab it don't be over confident that will always be the most dangerous proposition in your life unfocused now again this is simple you are not able to focus on the goal that that way of understanding that you should always see the eye of the bird or the sparrow in the tree as arjun could see right then erratic you start a thing you leave it in between you are not planned you are not organized you haven't you know made a long term plan with those short term goals that you have to achieve now that is very important don't be erratic you have to have a plan you have to have those organizational skills to be successful in life those who are successful they are never erratic they make a plan they follow the path they reach the destination then aticophobia now this is something like fear of failure why you fear the failure i don't understand we should only fear the fact that we did not try now if you did not try and you achieved nothing who will respect you and when you will try and do even 10% of what you wanted to do people still will have respect for you like ordinarily if you are doing nothing big in life then you are just an ordinary person then what fear you have that people will say anything wrong about you but ask yourself isn't there any fear within that what you will think about yourself like did you aim for something big in life did you genuinely try to achieve something big in life fear this rather than fear the failure right and finally self esteem if you have low self esteem tell yourself any and every skill can be acquired what you need is determination hard work zeal courage confidence today i ask you to awaken that divinity within you kill these 10 evils that are hampering your growth that are stopping you from achieving something big grow strong grow tall stand with confidence achieve whatever you want to achieve never fear just go and get it and in case you need any help we as an institution raj ias and as your personal mentor raj malhotra i stand committed to you to your success to your well being god bless you all thank you